Hey there, this is Jordan Whitmer with the How to Life Movement. If you're seeing this video, chances are you work at a local church or organization in ministry to youth. You might be wondering, what exactly is this How to Life Movement that my student or someone is telling me about? And what exactly is being asked of me and my church? And uh, that's what I wanted to take a moment to explain to you here in this video. What exactly is How to Life? How to Life is a global movement and ministry organization of teenagers and young people working to reach this next generation for Jesus. Over the course of eight years, over 140 How to Life movement events have taken place across 28 U.S. states and eight countries around the world, including the U.K., Germany, France, Mexico, Canada, Singapore, and the Dominican Republic. And now, if you're seeing this video, chances are one of your students is interested in the idea of seeing a How to Life movement event and campaign take place in your community. And if this is so, it would be a great privilege to be able to partner with you in your church to be able to reach teens, young adults, and Gen Z in your community. The vision of How to Life events is to see young people step up in their community with the vision of seeing their friends reach for Christ. And so far, we have seen incredible impact through this concept of youth-led events all across the USA and around the world. These events consist of students leading worship and music, sharing their testimonies about the difference that Jesus has made in their lives, and a clear evangelistic gospel presentation message. I want to take a moment for you to hear from several youth ministers and ministry leaders from around the world as they share about what being involved with and partnering with a How to Life movement event has been like for them. Hey, Tommy Ashiro from Faith to Faith Ministries here up in New England. And I just wanted to take a minute to throw some support out to How to Life and the How to Life movement, Jordan Whitmer. I am so amazed by him. First, he comes from great stock. His granddad is Ron Hutchcraft, who's a Youth for Christ legend of the gospel. And secondly, because Jordan grew up in that environment, he's executing a strategy that took me 20 years to figure out. And he's gathering Gen Z, an alliance of young people who are passionate about the gospel about sharing the gospel and seeing their generation come to Christ. Hey everybody, Jason Prasad here from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Now let me tell you something, I've been in ministry for 31 years as a pastor, as a home missionary, and I work with Alpha Canada and serve churches all across the country. And let me tell you, I'm so excited about what God is doing through the How to Life movement. Hello, my name is Theo Combos. I am the student pastor at Mission City Church in Bernie, Texas. In the fall of 2021, we had the privilege of hosting a How to Life event at our Northwest campus here in Bernie, and it was incredible. We saw about 500 students show up at the event, and we saw pretty much over half the room get up and nail on the cross, a wooden cross that was built, something that they wanted to surrender to Jesus. And so we saw many students commit their life to Jesus for the first time. What exactly are we asking of you and your local church? We require every local How to Life Movement team to have at least two supporting churches that get behind their vision to reach their community for Christ. This way, it clarifies that a How to Life event is not just for one church, but for multiple churches in a community. We don't want How to Life events to be done independently, but rather truly genuinely in partnership in serving the local churches in the community. We would love for you and the students from your local church to be able to attend this event and be there on the night or nights that this event takes place. Over the course of eight years, tens of thousands of young people have attended How to Life movement events and thousands have made a commitment to follow Jesus as a result of these events. Since young people often listen to their peers more than most other voices in their lives, we think this is an incredible opportunity for young people to hear the gospel from their friends. Sometimes students who wouldn't otherwise attend a religious or Christian event, they might be willing to show up at an event led by their peers because their friend invited them to be there. And third, we'd love to invite you to help promote the How to Life event in your community. Maybe you're friends with other churches and youth pastors in your area. We'd love if you could spread the word and get other people that you know, ministry leaders on board with this vision of a youth-led event and campaign in your community. And because of what I see in Jordan, the good spiritual stock, as well as the game plan to really execute, I fully support his endeavors. I wanna see how to life events all throughout the New England region. I'm 
throw in my money and my time into helping that happen as much as he'll let me. And for you, in whatever region you're in, I strongly advise you to get behind this movement, these young people. It was a really cool event. It was uh, both a, an event that was encouraging and um, inspiring and emboldening for Christians, but also an event that was evangelical, that reached law students that uh, just got invited to this thing for free Chick-fil-A and a cool t-shirt and to hear from a cool speaker. and. It ended up being really cool. And fourth, some churches like to help support the event financially. This is not required, and this is not always the case by any means. However, if your church has the resources in your youth budget or in your missions fund to be able to help support local initiatives like this that are evangelistic with the heart of seeing young people come to know the Lord, we'd love to invite you to consider maybe partnering financially. The fifth thing is to help provide some mentorship and coaching where needed for the local How to Life student leadership team. While How to Life movement events are led completely by students to reach students for Jesus, we do need ministry mentors and guides who can come alongside the teens and young people as they're working to plan these events. This can be taking the time to listen to one of the students share their message or their testimony before they do it at the How to Life event. And lastly, yet perhaps most significantly, we would love your help with the follow-up following a How to Life event. At every How to Life event, the gospel is shared clearly, and almost always there are some young people who respond during the invitation time with the desire to begin a relationship with Jesus, perhaps for the first time, or maybe to rededicate their life to Christ. With every How to Life event, we need local churches that are prepared to be strategic follow-up for the young people who come to faith at these events. How does this work exactly? If there's a young person at the How to Life event from your student ministry that makes a commitment to the Lord, we make sure to relay that information to you from the info cards that are filled out at the end of the event. If that's the case, we'd love to invite you to have a strategic follow-up time with that student and work to make sure that they understood the decision that they made that night and possibly lead them toward next steps in their faith with Jesus. It's always so encouraging to hear when students that came to faith at a How to Life event followed up by getting baptized in their local church in the weeks and months to come. Or perhaps, if there are students that come to the event that aren't connected to any local church at all, we would love to invite your church to be a safe home for that student to possibly come to. Normally, we encourage those students to get involved with the church of the friend that invited them to the How to Life event. These six things are the items that we invite and encourage every local church to consider in the local community where a How to Life event is happening. I think churches and local ministries should support How to Life for two specific reasons. Number one, it helps unify the local community. They get around and support this idea of How to Life, of reaching the lost with the gospel. Um, and so a lot of our ministries in Bernie took off on Wednesday night. They took off what they regularly do and encouraged their students said, hey, go get involved at How to Life. Go invite your friends um, to be a part of this event so that they might hear the gospel. And so we saw our community really rally around How to Life because it wasn't a church event. So it wasn't like, hey, everybody go to Mission City. It was, hey, everybody go to this How to Life event and so it was really easy for churches to stack hands for the past two years i've been involved and have seen this movement grow in canada a student-led uh ministry by gen zers reaching gen z and i really believe that we are in a season where it won't be people like me reaching gen z it's going to be students reaching their friends and reaching their generation and i believe that we are in a critical moment in history where we need to come alongside to mentor, equip, and support what Gen Z, young Gen Z leaders are doing to reach their generation. And so I'm encouraged by this ministry. It is not just a ministry, it is a movement that is sweeping across the world. And wherever you are listening, in whatever country or whatever part of the globe, I want to encourage you to get involved whether that's mentoring a student, opening up your church, being able to give financially and support these students in some capacity, I wanna encourage you to do that. And the second reason I think is really cool is that it just really is about empowering and equipping um, and challenging students to step up, to be bold, to be leaders, to own their faith and own um, ministry and to learn how to put on an event and to learn how to share the gospel with their friends. And so I think that is the most valuable 
component of How to Life is it challenges students to get involved in their faith in a leadership manner. A few other things you may want to know. As a ministry and an organization, How to Life is officially interdenominational. This means we are theologically evangelical, focused on the gospel and the essentials of the Christian faith. How to Life events have had churches from many different denominations that have participated in the past. We've had Baptists, Assemblies of God, Methodists, Pentecostals, Reformed, all of the above have at one point or another been involved with these How to Life movement events. At the end of the day, while there might be some differences for sure in terms of aspects of theology, we are coming together for the purpose of this event behind evangelism and preaching the gospel in almost every community in the world, the majority of young people in that town would not know Jesus. For the purpose of this event, it is so important that we do whatever we can to come together from multiple denominations behind the gospel message so that people in the community who don't know Jesus can have a chance at hearing the gospel and having a relationship with Jesus themselves. If you have more questions about the statement of faith for the How to Life movement, I'd like to encourage you to go to our website, howtolifemovement.com, where we have a very specific page listing the key points of some of the core elements of what it is that we as a movement would adhere to and stand behind. Our goal is to enlarge the ministry to Gen Z youth in a local community. We have a big vision for this movement. and We've seen countless young people all over the world step up in such incredible ways through this. And I think that's what Generation Z needs. I think Generation Z needs not adults, pointing down at them and saying, this generation needs to get more involved in their faith and to stop backsliding away, but for leaders within the generation to, to rise up and say, hey, we're gonna be front runners and we're gonna take our faith seriously and we need to get our generation on board with this. And so that's what I think was beneficial about How to Life. Jordan Whitmer, who I've known, he's the founder of this movement. We've gotten to know each other the last couple of years as well. And one of the things I love about Jordan, that this is not, a, he's not about Flash and this is not about making a name for him or this movement. It is about raising up the next generation for them to reach their friends. So I want to encourage you, get involved, be a part of what God is doing because I believe the How to Life movement is reaching students in spaces and in pockets where traditional church ministries and organizations are not. And that excites me. It's organic, it's authentic, it's genuine, and it's real. And I want to encourage you to get involved with the How to Life movement. I love How to Life. I think if you look closely and meet some of these young people, you'll fall in love with them too. And Please, please, please um, open your churches, open your homes for host homes, open your checkbooks to support them uh, because I really believe in what they're doing. I think they'll make a difference in the lives of your young people and in the region where you live. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. My hope is that this video has helped answer some of your questions and explain what the How to Life movement is and clarify exactly what it is we're asking from you and your church. If you have more questions, the How to Life staff team, volunteers, and I would love to connect with you more. Thank you so much for your partnership as we seek to reach, disciple, and mobilize the next generation for Christ. God bless.